Hi guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. We have here doing my little uh, Thursday's tool review. Trying to get back into it. This is a mid torque impact wrench, category, catalog number 2860 20, 18 volt. So, this is a brushless brushless fuel Milwaukee so I'm gonna get into the uh, pros and cons what I like about it what I do not like about it and uh, we'll get into this big old beast um, anyway so I bought this uh, off of offer up with this battery that charger so battery charger whatever whatever um yeah so you guys probably seen the videos before so the battery the battery's still good it still holds current in it that battery's this battery's brand new so anyway first things first pros what i like about it this thing's a monster it's a beast it's a little baby compared to the big one as you can see I don't know if it's uh doing a good comparison or not but uh yeah so this thing and this is my go-to now this is my workhorse this is my little beast that I use for for everything um I just did uh, rims and tires on my Dodge uh, sorry, not rims and tires. I did brakes, brakes all the way around my Dodge, my Ram 2010 2500. So it's uh, eight lugs per wheel. So it's 38 times four. Is that 32? 32 lug nuts. Did it like nothing. Um, I take that back. I did have to because I had two lug nuts that were broken. Or lug studs, I should say. Two lug studs were broken, and uh, I think that one whole wheel—it's the uh, the driver, or sorry, the passenger rear wheel. Um, I don't know what they did, but uh, two lug studs were completely stripped out, so I had to replace them. Had to get them, had to put new ones in, um, but I did rotate. Rotate the tires. I did uh, change all the brakes front and back and I used this little tool uh, This Milwaukee 18 volt um, Fuel and uh, it's great great little tool definitely would recommend it to anybody um, The mid torque is plenty enough uh, I did have two lug nuts that they over tightened or way over tightened or whatever they did and I ended up using this big old beast and uh, yeah it zipped them it zipped them right off with uh, without any any effort at all um, the thing I like about this one um, this big old beast is it's got this little smart drive the smart speed or whatever you want to call that thing um sense it senses the torque needed so uh you're not breaking bolts and stuff like that so it comes on very light very low very slow um torque power whatever you want to call it comes on super slow so as opposed to if we just go to three it just goes full full power so when you're tightening um, it feels so if you're in three it's just gonna crank and crank and crank um, crank this away um, if you're in this smart setting it's gonna go 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 but then once it starts to feel this start to move then it either reduces the power um, but if it doesn't sense that moving um, then what it does is it, it increases the power. Um, pretty cool. Definitely like this one. 
I did buy this by itself with no batteries on eBay, brand new to me. And uh, then I bought a two pack of batteries, brand new, off of eBay too. You can see in that video wherever it's going to be at. Just go to my tools on my playlist and you can see those. But anyways, the kid used it and had no care. I don't know. He didn't care. He used it. He used the big one to do his uh, his truck. He rotated his tires on his first gen. So again, that's 32 lug nuts. Um, but he didn't know that this one was powerful enough to do it. Which is what I'm getting at. This one is definitely powerful enough to get the job done. Um, I could have sat for when I needed this one or when I used this one. I could have sat on this one longer uh, with the power. And uh, I could have gotten the, the lug nuts off. But I just wanted to do a, a quick little comparison, I guess, for myself. Um, to give me a reason to buy that. Because I bought this. And then two days later, I bought that set up right there. And, uh, yeah, that's just what I, what I bought. Didn't know. My little yard cat. Not really my cat, but anyway. Everybody always puts cats in the videos. Um, so anyway, those are the pros on this thing. This thing is a beast. I like it. Really, really, really wish I would have bought it sooner when they were probably were cheaper, but... Um, I bought it used. Um, I th man, I can't really remember what I got it for. I want to say I got it for like 125 bucks. I can't. I can't remember. I don't want to say 125. Maybe even 150. I don't remember. Or maybe 120. I, I want to say 120. That sounds a little better. So 124. The impact. Uh, five amp battery and a charger that does both both batteries does the 18 volts and the 12 volts little m12s so anyway um yeah so cons the cons with this one here is my number one big problem i got with this thing is this stupid detent pin i like the hog ring even though this one's not broken in and it's pain in the butt to get stuff on it but the hog ring is my favorite. If you're going to buy a tool, please, if you can, buy this. This is a pain in the butt unless you want to put like an adapter on it and leave the adapter on there forever. Um, so like I can, I can basically convert this to uh, 3 8 inch, by the way. This is half inch drive. So you can put, you could put this on. And then that detent pin will go into these holes on your sockets if yours have a hole. Um, so, uh, like all my sockets, my impact sockets, almost all of them are all Harbor Freight Pittsburgh sockets. And they all have this hole. So, once you get it in there, you, there's no getting it out without. So, like, you can't. You can't get this off to save your life unless you stick something in there to get it off. And that's that's my number one problem with it. My number one issue I have with this one here is this detent. Um, it's going to be harder than heck to get it off with one hand. But anyway, so that's my one flaw I don't like about this. And obviously, I can buy, you could buy a different one. I might be able to even buy a different hog ring, anvil. I don't remember what they're, these are actually called, anvils or something. But uh, yeah, my only one issue with, with it, my only one con... Uh, pros are way up there. Con is, I mean, yeah. So like I'm all my other sockets, like I was using uh, today, I was using this. So this will go on like nothing, and it stays on. So it works out, works out pretty good. Uh, 
you just have to wiggle it a little bit and then it'll come off. So for these without the holes and that have these, uh, I want to say like a tapered little cuts. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, how it's tapered in there so that it'll slide over that. But if you have a straight cut socket, let me find a straight cut socket, something like this. Um, no, maybe not like that. Let's just use one of these. Okay, here we go. So these are straight cut sockets. There's no recess, no nothing. Make sure I don't get it on that hole. So to get these on, you have to wiggle the thing. I don't know if you can see it. You can't just put it on. You have to like get it over here. See, now it doesn't even want to go on. But you kind of have to detent it like that and then get it to go on. So, and then, but then they slide right off. So anyway, so yeah, if you're in a market for an impact ratchet, impact wrench, definitely go after the Milwaukee's. Um, I have the DeWalt's. However, I don't like the, the big bulkiness of the DeWalt one, even though this one blows out my shoulder just moving it around. Um, but yeah, the DeWalt ones, the DeWalt ones I think are just way too bulky for what they, for the torque that they're getting out of them. I just don't really think that they're worth it. Um, I think DeWalt needs to step up their game because I had, everything I had was DeWalt. And now everything I have as far as this is Milwaukee, except for my grinder, which my grinder will probably eventually go to Milwaukee. And I uh, will not have any DeWalt's in here. And I have a circular saw too that is that is a DeWalt. Which I've been looking for one of those too. A grinder and a, uh, a, grinder and a uh, circular saw. So anyway guys, that's going to be my tool review. Thursday's tool review for this week. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'll put links uh, in the description below of where I got them, eBay. I'll probably do eBay and Amazon because I know everybody buys from Amazon. I can't stand Amazon. I can go on for an hour why I hate Amazon. But anyway, I'm not going to hear. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out my boy, One and Glenn. Check out some other people I watch. Uh, decent first gen. Decent underscore first underscore gen. Um, he's got some videos out there of a first gen he just bought so i'm just gonna plug him for a little while and my buddy one and glenn one the letter n glenn the word one o-n-e the letter n and uh his first name glenn all right guys later